Not only I ended up securing myself a full-time job before my internship period was over, I ended up being a CEO. Hello everyone, this is Amin Sheikh and welcome back to my channel, Student of Life. And in today's video, I'm gonna share 10 key things which you can follow and apply to get that promotion you have been aiming for. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna share my personal experience that how I started in a company as an intern ended up being the head of that department which led me to become a CEO of my own company. Point number one, get clear expectations from your boss. This is the key to being a star performer at any stage of your career. Sit down with your manager, set yourself specific goals. Say, I want to hit the ground running and exceed your expectations. What can I do? It's not gonna be easy, it's gonna be really hard. And we're gonna have to work at this every day, but I wanna do that because I want you. I want all of you forever. Number two, document your achievements. Your boss isn't gonna keep the track of all of your accomplishments. So keep a log, an Excel sheet or a Word document with all of your quantifiable accomplishments. That way you have concrete results to cite when you ask for that promotion. Number three, act as if you have already been promoted. Think like your boss or a person whose position you're aiming for. For example, a developer may think how to write the best code. However, a leader will think how to resource that project to meet the stakeholder's timeline. Thinking of a bigger picture will get you noticed. Have a succession plan in place, making sure that once that opportunity you've been waiting for arises, you have someone else trained and ready to take upon your old job. That way, you're demonstrating not only that you're ready for that promotion, but you have the best interest of the company in heart. Ms. McGill. Yes. That's your desk, in there. I don't think so. Number five, be an extension to your boss. Make your boss's life easier by taking away the task from him or her. But it is important not just to impress your immediate boss. In the new world, your peers and your reports, if any, are equally important. While your boss wants you to be a great team player, you need to distinguish yourself from your peers. As there is a famous saying, individuals get promoted, not teams. Number six, chase more responsibilities, not just the money. The money will come as market forces come into action. But just focusing on money can derail you from the original goals you have set for yourself. Money! What are you talking? He's got a lot of money! And looking for more responsibilities shows that you are ready for that move forward. Point number seven, be confident in yourself. As Sir Richard Branson says, if you are lucky enough that someone gives you the opportunity, take it, learn it, and prove your worth. Dr. Harris. Yes? Do you concur? Above all, be confident and perform without fear. If you have the skills for the promotions, you have the skills to go and find another job. Number eight, have a vision of where you want to be. It'll help you take the right decision at critical times. You can ask yourself, is this decision aligned with my long-term goals or is it just a feel-good decision? And that way you will always make the right decision. Point number nine, ask for that promotion. It sounds very basic, but a lot of people expect their bosses to hand out that promotion. But in reality, if you don't ask, you shall not receive. Lalita, I like you. You're very peppy and bright, and I want to marry you and bring you back right away. Now, of course, despite following everything we have discussed and doing everything right, you may not get that promotion due to the factors out of your control. For example, the company could freeze raises, your boss quits, or your peer could get tapped for that promotion. If it is the latter, find out why you were passed over, but keep the focus on you. 
ask your manager what could you have done differently so that would have been you. Get the feedback, act on it, and get yourself lined up for the promotion next year. Number 10, look for that promotion elsewhere. If you have been killing it at work, and that promotion is nowhere to be seen. Maybe it's time for you to cut your losses. We all have clear motives for killing our bosses, so motives. this is not gonna work, this is garbage. Many times, more often than not, a promotion is easier to attain at a new job than your current employer. Speaking from my personal experience, having worked as a recruitment consultant and helped a lot of people making that leap, it's not always a bad thing. It comes with signing on bonuses, new titles, and maybe leadership roles. So keep proving yourself at your current role, and if you feel that you're stuck for too long, be bold and brave enough to re-ramp your CV, get out there and get yourself that promotion or role you deserve. You're breaking up with me. <laughs> I mean, come on, baby. I mean, look at you. You, you ain't even all that fine. I mean, you, you just average. Finally, as I promised, a quick summary of how I started as an intern and ended up being a CEO of my own company. Over a decade ago, I decided to make that leap where I was doing quite well in the role at the time. I was working as a business development executive on, on the field. I decided to give that job up, which was paying me quite well and took up an internship in an office because money isn't the only motivating factor in my life. And I wanted to do something different. So there was four of us and there was a promise of one job at the end of that internship. That internship was nine months. I know it might sound crazy, but this is sort of a person I am. It was a business process outsourcing company. So initial role of mine was to just be a customer service agent on the behalf of company's client. And when I was introduced to that role, there was 150 outstanding complaints which had to be dealt with. Those 100, 150, the oldest one was 300 plus days old and the client's SLA was 40 to 72 hours. As later, I, I, I discovered that they were on the verge of losing that contract. I just took that as an opportunity and I challenged myself to actually tackle all those complaints and wipe them all, all clean. So there I was with a little challenge, not getting paid. I had a vision and I had a goal. The entire office will leave at five o'clock sharp and I would be the only person staying there for endless amount of, amount of hours for as long as I could arrange my callbacks with the client. Sometimes it was 10, sometimes 11. Even at 12 o'clock at night, I would stay back and I would work. And within a month, I had cleared all of the complaints and there was absolutely zero uh, backlog um, on the system. So. My work was then noticed not only by the company, I got the employee of the month, although I wasn't really technically the employee of the company, but I also got noticed with the company's client, which was one of the re renowned name in the country. And from then, that was just the beginning. I took more responsibilities. I followed everything I have discussed with you guys in this video so far. I put myself out there. I proved myself, I pushed myself, I challenged. I made sacrifices and the internship was nine months long but they offered me a job within five months a full-time job then I, I got more responsibilities I became the team leader of that department then I made some changes and then I introduced new systems and then I, I ended up heading that whole entire department which also included HR and a lot more and eventually then with one of the directors from that company I ended up starting my own uh, business process outsourcing company along with a um, couple of other things. So guys, I hope listening to my personal story gives you some sort of a motivation and whatever we have discussed in this video helps you get that promotion you deserve. And if you have used any of the things we have discussed in this video, if you have applied any of those points in your life, I would love to hear your experience. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel because I will be bringing quality content like this every week. So thank you for your time. I hope you have a great evening or day, whatever time it is. And we shall speak to you soon.